Mariano Belmas Estrada. Mariano Belmas Estrada, 17 January 1850, 16 August 1916, was a Spanish architect. He was a prominent theoretician of urban planning in Madrid in the late 19th century, particularly in addressing the problem of housing workers as the city modernized. He viewed architecture in terms of technical solutions to social problems rather than aesthetics. He was the lead architect in the first year of Reconstruction, after the 1884 Andalusian earthquake. He was a founder and one of the first architects of the Ciudad Lineal of Madrid, a planned neighborhood. Later, he abandoned his youthful idealism and became a successful and respected architect who created eclectic designs of major new buildings and renovations for public and private clients. Early years, 1850-1875. Mariano Belmas Estrada was born in Madrid on 17 January 1850. His father, Juan Belmas Vidal, was an engineer from Galicia. Mariano studied science and architecture at the Madrid School and graduated on 16 October 1873. His training during the period of the Sexenio Democratico 1868-1874 was influenced by ambitious urban development projects for Madrid proposed by individuals such as Angel Fernandez de Lone. The Dill. His first years after graduating were spent on professional development and theoretical study rather than practice as an architect. Theoretician 1875-1885 Belmas became active in the Sociedad Central de Arquitectos, Central Society of Architects, and from 1875 to 1882 was General Secretary of the Society. In 1876, he became editor of the Society's official organ, the Revista de la Arquitectura Nacional y Extranjera Review of National and Foreign Architecture. The administration's 1878 Bill on Construction of Working Class Neighborhoods had raised interest in the subject of urban planning and economical construction. Felmas began to explore the ideas of architectural hygiene and public housing. In 1880, he presented models of compact houses with molded concrete walls attached to form small blocks as advocated by urban planners who thought the city plans should be based on small groups of modest houses. In 1880, Belmas was given a grant by the state to visit England and Belgium to study workers' housing and low-cost buildings. When he returned, he was instrumental in the foundation, in 1881, of the Sociedad Española de Higiene Spanish Hygiene Society and was secretary of this society for several years. He represented the society at the International Hygiene Congress in Paris in 1885, and in London in 1891. He was named a corresponding member of the French Society Centrale des Architects and the Royal Institute of British Architects. Belmas presented his ideas about hygiene, urban planning, and economical housing at the First National Congress of Architects in 1881, including the concept of working-class neighborhoods with single-family homes connected to the city using new forms of transport. Also in 1881, he began to advocate economic housing built using the Belmas system of modern construction. His radical ideas were opposed at the 1881 Congress by conservatives such as Lorenzo Alvarez Capra, and he left the Central Society in 1882. He also left the Revista de la Arquitectura Nacional y Extranjera. However, he continued to contribute articles to this and other magazines where urban planning, urban hygiene and economic housing were discussed. Elmas was recognized as one of the most advanced theoreticians of architecture and urbanization. A few experimental economical workers' houses were built in Madrid in the next few years. In 1881-1885, Belmas undertook redesign of the Ministry of Development for the School of Arts and Crafts on the Paseo de la Infanta Isabel, Madrid. In 1882, he founded the Constructora Mutua Mutual Construction Company, a cooperative for building cheap housing, but lack of money meant that only a few houses were built on what is now the Cal de Bravo Murillo. Andalusian Earthquake Reconstruction, 1885-1886 After the Andalusian earthquake of 25 December 1884, 
Belmiz became an official collaborator with the administration on post-earthquake reconstruction on 26 January. For the rest of the year he worked in Madrid and in the field as the main technical authority for the Royal Commission. Belmiz defined the criteria for the official reconstruction. He was behind a competition announced at the start of February for housing plans for the communities that must be rebuilt in the provinces of Malaga and Granada. The terms of the competition required the plans to conform to his views on standardized urban architecture. In February 1885, the Ministry of the Interior called for designs by Spanish architects for new houses for the poor, which had to cost no more than 1,500 pesetas and be as strong as possible against future earthquakes. Felmas submitted his own proposal, following structural principles that had already been partially implemented by Jose Grazes Riero. He called his system an articulated skeleton. It had a flexible wooden framework filled with economically available materials, such as manufactured brick, masonry or adobe to make a solid, undeformable, rigid and flexible unit. No foundation was required. Felmas described his design as having perfect connections between all its elements, so even if the floor moved the house could sway but not break. He wrote that even if the house fell and rolled, its frame would remain locked like a boat that suffered the hard attacks of the raging waves of the sea. The people for whom the houses were intended had doubts about whether the innovative design was strong or functional. Well-known architects such as Francisco Jarino y Alarcon and Juan Monserrat Verges cast doubts on whether the houses would be adequate for the harsh climate of the region. There is no official record that Belmas won the contest, and some sources say a different proposal was approved, but preparations were made to start building based on his model based on a prototype built in Madrid, and the components of some houses were sent to be assembled on site. The five designs by Belmas Estrada followed similar construction techniques, and were between 40 and 150 square meters, 430 and 1610 SQFT in area. The houses had solid foundations, strong frameworks, reinforced corners, and other features designed to reduce risk of collapse. Felmas participated in the reconstruction in Alhama de Granada, but was only able to build a small neighborhood. Towards the end of 1885, Jose Marin Baldo, by Keisha 1826-1891, joined the commission. His experience in rebuilding villages destroyed in the great flood of the Huerta de Murcia in 1880 gave him great authority. Belmis seems to have left the commission in January 1886. Housing projects in Madrid 1887-1897 Last years 1897-1916 Belmis became a member of the Liberal Party and from 1897 to 1906 was a deputy for Madrid. Later he was a senator for the province of Lugo. Felmas advised Fernando Navarro in his construction of the Palacete Rodriguez Quevels in Los Palmos, Gran Canaria, a small Art Nouveau place. Navarro completed the proposed design by Belmas in 1900. In the 20th century, turning away from his more idealistic concepts, he executed most of his well known buildings in variants of the eclectic style. He designed residences for the Marquis de Valdeterrazzo in Cal Hortales in 1902-1904, for the Mitchens family on Cal Velasquez 1904-1905, and on the Paseo de la Castellana 1907, for Louis de la Mata on Felipe Roman II Avenue 1905-1909, and for José Rivas. The last was completed by the architect Francisco Reynolds. Belmas redesigned Madrid's cosmopolitan Grand Hotel de Arenal. The residential building at Arenal 19 had been designed in 1862 by José María Melado and Máximo de Robles. Belmas Estrada renovated it between 1907 and 1908 to convert it into the International Hotel. He gave the façade everything that was considered to represent French glamour at the time, although the mass of details would be considered of doubtful taste today. In 1909, Belmas restructured the Ave Maria Chapel, the last surviving building of the Trinity Convent in Madrid. He created a new level above the former single floor and modified the façade to match. 
In his last years, Belmas had considerable prestige. He was decorated with the Grand Cross of the Order of Isabella the Catholic, and contributed to the 1911 regulations for construction of single-family public houses in Madrid in the early 20th century. Mariano Belmas Estrada died on 16 August 1916. In the 1920s and 1930s, architects in Madrid continued to struggle with the problem of viable working-class neighborhoods with little more success than Ramon de Messinero Romano's 1803-1882. Publications Publications by Mariano Belmas include Mariano Belmas, 1881 Las Construcciones Económicas del Sistema Belmas Bajo Los Puntos de Vista Social, Constrictivo y Económico Conferencia Dada, en el Fomento de las Artes el día 16 de abril de 1881. Mariano Belmas, 1882. Discusión acerca de la mortalidad de Madrid. Mariano Belmas, 1887. La Casa, Conditions que de reunir la vivienda para ser salaber. Consigios Populares de Hygiene Vol. 1. Diario Medico Farmacéutico, p. 123. Mariano Belmas, 1892. Comentarios a las Ordenanzas Municipales de Madrid. Mariano Belmas, 1893. La Crisis del Trabajo y los Obreros de Madrid Conferencia Dada en el Centro Instructivo del Obrero. Mariano Belmas, 1899. Canarias. El Peligro y Sus Remedios, Conferencia Dada en el Etnio de Madrid. Mariano Belmas, 1900. Los Canales y Pantanos y el Decreto del Ministro de Agricultura de 12 de Mayo de 1900, Conferencia Dada en el Etnio de Madrid, el Día 18 de Mayo de 1900. Mariano Belmas, 1901. El Lazarito de Gando y Los Canarias. Mariano Belmas, Vicent Laurent, 1902. Discursos Lados en la Cesión, Inaugural del Ano Académico de 1902-1000.